So the slideshow is pretty much finished and now we can take a quick preview and move on to the next sections. This little blurb is the perfect spot for a quick introductory sentence. I'm going to copy the first sentence from my profile text and edit it to match my font choices. I'll use Futura for legibility here. I'm going to reduce the size and make sure the color matches. Now I'll change the text on this button. It links down to the About section already, so I don't need to change any of its functionality. I do want to change its design though. I'd like a solid button, pill-shaped, and if I want to change from the default here, I can click Customize and select the background color, font, and font color. I'm going to use my bright accent color from my brand palette. We need to consider what the hover state of this button is also, and I like to invert or contrast my colors. So let's set up the background to dark gray and the text in both scenarios to white. I'm speeding up the video here because I think you're probably starting to get the hang of all these options. I think there needs to be a little more white space below this button. So if I want to drag a section to be larger or smaller, I just need to use these handles in the middle of the page. Make sure that when you drag a section, you move the anchor link along with it. This blue line is the anchor and it tells the navigation link where to scroll to when you click on it. Since changing the text in the next sections is pretty much the same process, I'm going to speed up again and if you need to pause, feel free to do so.
Okay, so after previewing the site, I want to reduce the height of this slider and also move the text up so it's more centered on page load. Wix includes tooltips that tell you about positioning. So I'm able to just slide up each title group to the same point on the page with the help of the tooltip. I can also just drag the slider up without impacting the image size. It automatically adjusts to fit within the ratio. It's all looking pretty good now, but the last element to change is this project gallery. I'll open up the images and upload the ones I want to represent my four projects. I'm going to choose four different images to make the page look more diverse from the hero slider. Once I've selected and uploaded into the gallery grid, I can assign click-through links that direct to the project pages. This means that when somebody clicks on these links, it's going to take them directly to the project pages associated with each project. I want to use the same project page designs that already exist within the template, so I'll assign them using the link settings here. Now I can just get rid of the old images and check out how this is looking. You're able to modify the gallery settings, but I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, so I'll leave it at its default. There's just the last few tweaks now. Preview your page a lot at this stage to see behavior you might be missing on the main editor. I'm noticing that the hover state for my project gallery is bright yellow, so I'm going to have to go back and change that. I also noticed that the image names are showing up on hover, so I have to go into the gallery and change those too. Finally, my forms submit button has the same hover state as the other button, which doesn't work against this gray background. All of these tweaks are things that will take a lot of time, but we've managed to get an entire homepage up in less than half an hour, so I think that's pretty amazing. Basically, the last thing I'm doing here is checking all the animation states and changing them to fade or float in. This will make our website feel more dynamic and responsive as people scroll through. Keep previewing the editing as you notice things that need to change. I'll sign off here because I think you can probably do all the rest of the project pages on your own. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, so the last thing we have to do is publish our site. You'll get a notification of what your URL is. And if you ever forget and need to double check, you can jump right up here to site, go down to view publish site. Your URL is gonna be the username that you came up with and then wixsite.com slash the name of the site you've given it. If you need to change this, you can do that in the settings, but for now, let's just check out how the site looks. There's definitely some things I would change, but I think overall it's looking pretty good. I really like the way that I've set these pieces to fade in on scroll. We just wanna double check and make sure that all of our links are working and that these anchor links are going to the right places on the page. So this is the end of the website project and hopefully you feel equipped to take on the rest of the project pages by yourself. If you want me to take a look at your websites and give you some feedback, Feel free to send me the URL. It doesn't have to be for this exercise or this semester. It can be any time during the summer. So I hope it goes well for you and all the best. And let me know if you have any questions.